Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're just a death-defying couple in love that loves reacting to some death battle. We do. And this will be an interesting one. Yes, it is. Um, so this is Ken versus Terry, uh, Street Fighter versus King of Fighters. So it's Fight Night Friday, people. And we do Fight Night Friday not only on this channel, but over on our other channel, Definitely Not Definitive Games. And uh, so later today, we are reacting to some King of Fighters over there, we're reacting to the Supers for King of Fighters 15. And we do a Fight Night Friday on our Instagram, which you should check us out at We Are Definitely Not Definitive. Now, we do Death Battle a certain way, all right? So Bethany's gonna explain to you how Death Battle works on this channel if this is your first time. So what we do is we watch the first half of the video where they talk about their armors and weaponry, strengths, weaknesses, abilities, and then we stop the video. We then, each of us, sort of in the like fifth grade test taking manner, We'll write down who we think, and Ken will of course like the pen, we'll write down who <laughs> we think is going to be the winner. And then we'll watch the death battle to see who wins because we have a bet going, which Ken will now explain. So whoever gets the most death battles correct by Thanksgiving uh, gets to choose what the cosplay outfit is that we both wear on New Year's Day and New Year's Eve on the channel. Um, so when we do our, like, you know, our fun reaction videos for those, uh, you'll see us dress up in cosplay and we will pick out those uh, costumes. The winner will. Right now, it is 2-2, two, two. Um, so yeah, it was all, all tied up. I was on a losing streak, I got three in a row wrong. I, I won the first one, then I got three in a row wrong, and I uh, got, the, got, the, got the last one um, uh, correct, you know. Uh, I, I realized that I had to go against my, my instincts. My instincts were for one character and I went the other way because I had gotten every single one of them wrong. Like Even the, ones, the one win that I had up to that point was because Bethany picked the character that I wanted and I was like, oh, I'll just pick the other character. <laughs> So, I really haven't picked any correctly so far. So whoever I pick, pick the other one. Um, this is going to be a little tough for me because it's Ken versus Terry. So, I'm going to have a bias going into this Got one. some skin in the game. Yeah, I got some skin in the game. We'll see how it goes. Alright, let's do it. Hey Wiz, what is love <laughs> hair? Where's yes, but... Fights like hell? Uh, today's fighters? <laughs> oh, you guessed it. Ken Masters, the street fighting family man. And Terry Bogard, the orphan turned king of fighters. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Come on! As the son of a rich hotel tycoon, young Ken Masters wanted for nothing. Stupid rich kids, why don't their parents ever teach them any real value? Oh damn! Oh, cooking or how to throw a punch! Well, turns out Ken's an exception. Eager to teach his son some discipline, his father sent him to Japan to train in martial arts. Let's it pasta. turns out Ken's yeah, dad right. was buddies with the master karate hermit Gokin, who Ken trained under for a decade, alongside a young warrior named Ryu. Under Gokin's eye, Ken was taught the ways of the Ansatsuken, or Assassination Fist, albeit Gokin's own non-lethal variant. He learned techniques like the blast of key energy known as the Hadouken, and also the Tatsu Monkey Seppukaka. Tatsu Monkey Seppukaka. <laughs> also known as the Hurricane Kick, a spinning kick that leaves opponents yeah. reeling, but is also pretty good for getting past projectiles. <laughs> but the move he excels at the most is the Dragon Fist, the Shoryuken! It's a devastating rising uppercut, and Ken's so damn good at it, he can set his whole damn fist on fire! <laughs> at his best, he can perform the Shinryuken, or Divine Dragon Fist. Not only is this attack engulfed in flame, it also creates a vacuum effect, drawing opponents in for multiple strikes. The oh. Shinryuken is the most powerful natural form of the Shoryuken technique. Well, so long as you're not possessed by evil murder energy, but you should watch Ryu vs. Scorpion to learn all about that. With his training complete, Ken returned to America, proving his new discipline and kickassery by winning several fighting tournaments. Including the premier U.S. martial arts tournament, where he won the finals and met his future wife, Eliza. Hmm. Ho ho ho! That is certainly what I would call a win! Proud of his victories, Ken returned to Gokin's dojo to tell his former master the good news. But he got there a little too late. Dang, missed out on all the finger painting. After meeting up with Ryu to mourn their master's apparent death, Ken decided to enter the prestigious World Warrior Tournaments, just for the chance to fight Ryu again. But Ken's always fighting, both in and out of tournaments. He takes on anything from crime lords to professional assassins. 
and he's strong enough to send a man flying 15 feet in the air with a single punch. Hmm. The force of which would definitely kill an average person, which Ken is anything but. He is strong enough to beat the dictator Bison with Ryu, and he's fast enough to dodge attacks from Akuma, one of the most powerful Ooh. characters in the Street Fighter Dang. universe. Dang. Then there was his cage match against the claw-wielding Vega, where he punched him so hard he completely reversed the guy's momentum after he leaped from the ceiling. Doing so after losing tons of blood from dozens of lacerations, and with both of his feet broken and impaled. Oh! Considering much of a punch's force comes from the lower half of a person's body, this is practically unbelievable. Talk about endurance. I can see how he got his wife. The guy's <laughs> tough enough to fall over 100 <laughs> feet into the mud and then just get up more pissed than anything else. Hmm. But when it comes down to it, Ken's strongest asset is his conviction to win, mm. only made stronger when it comes to defending his friends. Though he is pretty cocky, if he's feeling good about a fight, he'll sometimes just laugh at his opponents instead of finishing them off, leaving himself wide open. Oh Still, no! if you enter the ring with Ken Masters, chances are you're gonna get burned. Branded with his brother Andy, Terry grew up an orphan on the dangerous streets of South Town. Until they were adopted by Jeff Bogart. Just like slugs and secrets. introduced them to a regiment of bonding and pet monkey. ass. Now that's a good dad. Well, until he got murdered. When he was only 10 years old, Terry and Andy watched helplessly as their foster father was murdered before their eyes by Geese Howard, a notorious crime lord. Yeah. Swearing vengeance, the brothers spent the next decade training to one day take down geese. What did Waterfowl ever do to him? No, not not birds. Geese, geese Howard, the bad guy. <laughs> Wiz, I know you're not a poultry scientist degree holder like myself, but you should know that the singular term for geese is goose. It's <laughs> just common sense. <laughs> well, oh my god, look at him! On. As the years went by, Dude, Terry hold like it's a professional martial artist, mastering boxing, karate, kung fu, and kickboxing. He developed an impressive list of techniques, like the burn knuckle, a fierce punch surrounded by energy. And the crack shoot, a jumping axe knuckle. kick. Or he can just punch the ground so freaking hard he makes a power wave. Damn. Where he sends a deadly wave of energy through the earth towards whatever poor bastard he's fighting. But even after learning all of these, Terry knew he would need more to defeat Geese. Goose, no. <laughs> so he sought out his foster father's old master, who taught him the secret technique of the Hakyoku Senki, the art oh. of the eight extremities fully fixed. Holy fist, huh? Is that like punching the Jesus into people or something? No, but he is punching with the power of Earth. Fire, wind, water, heart, go, Terry! <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, with Hakyoku Seiken, Terry can literally pull and channel energy from the earth beneath his feet. And with the earth's chi, he can enhance his attacks to extreme level. Like turning his ordinary power wave into the monstrously titanic power geyser. Apart from that, his Buster Wolf punch puts his burn knuckle to shame, and with the star dunk volcano, he slams his foes down in a fiery explosion. So when Terry was ready to take Geese down, legs. he figured what better way than in the worldwide tourney Geese himself was hosting, the King of Fighters Tournament. And in the end, he most certainly got his revenge, in a hmm. battle which was apparently so intense, its spectators compared it to a fight between starving wolves, earning Terry the nickname, the Legendary Hungry Wolf. Hmm. Oh, That's a badass nice. nickname. Although it turns out, Terry didn't kill Geese hard enough. So we got to do it a second time! <laughs> Not that Terry was too weak or anything. For example, in his fight with Jamin, he took a huge explosion in the back, got a car thrown at him, jumped up an elevator shaft as it was blowing up. Oh my god! Blasted in the face with a wall of fire which smashed him into a concrete wall, and answered by power geysering so hard he wrecked the factory he was standing on. Oh my god. He bled mm -hmm. everywhere. But then this chick made him better with a good old stripping cuddle. <laughs> oh, and that guy jamming, he's fast enough to catch bullets. And strong enough to shoot them back. With his fingers. Not good enough Damn. for you? Well, how about the time Terry saved a co-worker from six falling eye beams by smashing them one by one in midair? Damn. Keep in mind, a single eye beam is designed to support over 3,000 pounds of pressure. And he took care of it so fast, the would-be victim didn't even notice. 
It's a bit of a shame then that, at his worst, Terry's a pretty sore loser. Hmm. Even though his willpower is enough to match the power of Mars, the god of war, an unexpected failure can still really shake him up. Aww. But when Terry Bogard sets his mind to something, he'd rather bleed out than walk away. That's my pick. What's your pick? That's my pick. But you were not going to see. Oh, I did see. I picked me. You picked Ken? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to explain this. Okay, I actually do think Terry's going to win, so I'll take Terry. It's fine. Um, I only picked me because it has my name, and I didn't no, want... You, you don't get to change now. That's the whole point of the post-it. <laughs> Once it's on post-it, it is ironclad. We don't get to change. Okay, all right, all right. Why did you pick? So... I think Terry's gonna win too. <laughs> there is something that my wonderful husband keeps pointing out, which is that Wiz and Boomstick like to plant this little seed of weakness in the often winning uh, character. Okay. So they said, oh, Ken sometimes just laughs at his opponents instead of finishing him off, leaving him wide open. Mm. It's pretty obvious Terry's gonna win if that's utilized because Terry would rather die than lose a fight and he's gonna fight mm -hmm. until the bitter end so if ken doesn't finish him off and is just laughing terry should win but wisdom boomstick aren't trustworthy <laughs> and it's very possible that that whole setup was just because ken's gonna win all along and they want to deceive us also what kind of wife would i be if i didn't vote for my husband so there we go I should have guessed that. I should have guessed that you were going to vote for me because you are, uh, you know, an amazing, amazing wife. And um, I just didn't want Ken to knock it. I thought for sure Terry was going to win this because Ken's big thing is like his fire fists and Terry can withstand fire. So I just don't see how Ken is able to like, they talked about Terry a lot. Like they didn't really talk about Ken a lot. So I feel like Terry's probably going to win this, but I just couldn't vote against myself. Actually, like I, like I said, I didn't put Ken, I put me <laughs> as the winner. He did. I thought you were for sure gonna go for Terry. Well, so there are a couple things also about Ken that I that I like and that I'm gonna say on Ken's behalf as a possible future okay. victor. He took on Akuma. Yeah, but he didn't beat him. He, he, only, he was only able to dodge some of the stuff. Yeah, but still, that's impressive. Yeah. Akuma's pretty ferocious. I also like that he's a family man mm. and that his motivating factor is protecting his friends. He's also falling into the good guy category. I don't particularly like that he laughs at his opponents because that's humiliating. I thought that would be like the one um, that didn't get you to think of. That is, yes, that's hard to swallow. I almost did not vote for him because of that. <laughs> that, actually, I was in I was in Team Terry before Terry even started because of that laugh. Yeah. But he's named after my husband, so we're overlooking this. Aww. Um, <laughs> and, and I'm trying to put a positive spin on it that, well, He's letting them live to fight another day, rather than finishing them off. So, we're gonna put a positive spin on that. Alright, nice music. Ooh! Oh, ouch! Ah. <laughs> Challenge me after some practice. Come on, Ken, don't be too cocky. Show me what you're made of. Look at those pee birds. Here I go. See ya. No. Don't go too crazy in the beginning, Ken. See ya. Oh! Oh, you just not punch him? Take this serious fire. Damn! Here comes Terry. Ooh! Oh, what is going on? They're like freak universe. Oh, yes! Yeah. Terry's coming back. 
Vas-y. Vas-y. Oh, it's cool. That was a cool change. Oh. Nice cancellation. Uh-oh. No. I got you. Yeah. Terry wins. Oh no! What the hell? Ooh! Oh, he did win! Smashed him! Smashed his head? So, on the bright side, this means that I'm single now, right? Boomstick! You're saying what we're all thinking, Liz! Both Ken and Terry had been fighting since they were children, and each won their fair share of tournaments. However, Terry's sheer power proved too much for Ken to handle. Outside of tourneys, Ken's most notable victories were usually only possible because he had help. Sure, mm. Ken's taken down Zengi, Hugo, and Vega multiple times, who are extremely deadly in their own right, but they aren't nearly as heavy hitters as those on Terry's resume, like Krauser in Mars. Also, keeping up with and surpassing Jameen, who can effortlessly catch bullets, proves Terry can match someone over twice the speed of sound. Much faster than anything Ken's ever shown. Man, what sure. Eliza hears about this. She's gonna feel terrible. The winner is Terry Bogart. All right, I mean, that makes the most sense. I think we both <laughs> thought Terry was gonna, we're gonna win, but we both wanted to cheer for Ken, so. We went against our instincts, and for that, we got no points. Yeah, we get zero points, it's all right. It's still 2-2. Two -two. It's it, all tied up still. Yeah, it's still all tied up, um, but it was still a fun death battle to watch, and uh, yeah, I mean, it, it makes more sense that, that, that Terry would win, um, even though Ken had the cooler name. <laughs> and they also could pass for brothers, too. Like, yeah. I was, as, as they were like, both as Terry walks in and Ken's standing there, I was just like, in any other universe, you two are like brothers in some game who mm -hmm. are duking it out. This one seemed a little bit more uh, sort of ironclad because they didn't even like really go into like the math at all. Like they, like normally like yeah, when, when they have to like say who won and um, you know, it might be controversial. Uh, a lot of times they go into like the math of things and I was like, okay, yeah. well this person won because of this, like, you know, like, and they start to break things down a little bit more scientifically. This one, it just seemed kind of like, yeah, Terry is going to win and we just kind of put these two together because yeah, like they're both blonde and they're like, like, <laughs> like they could be brothers. Well, and also it was, it was interesting too, because like they didn't even need to make use of Ken laughing. Like, yeah. Like that true. whole thing that they set up as, as a weakness and a potential game changer, they never even need to make they have never even needed to make use of it because Terry just kind of yeah, the floor just with. a little bit too strong. This is one of the actually the quickest death battles as far as um, the match itself. Yeah, it's like you know, it, it seemed very very quick. Uh, so if you want more death battle reactions, go ahead and check out the description of this video. We got a playlist there for you for all the death battle reactions, including the ones that we had early on that we didn't actually have this bet going on. It's true. Um, we, we started this a little bit later. And if you want more of Fight Night Friday, check us out over on Instagram at We Are Definitely Not Definitive or over on Definitely Not Definitive Games. We're later today. We are checking out King of Fighters 15, all the super moves. So yeah, check us out over there. And just keep in mind that our reaction to Death Battle Ken versus Terry is definitely not definitive.